you will hear a talk about safety in different regions. First, in the exam, you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 1 to 4. Listen carefully and answer questions 1 to 4. Good evening, everyone. It's great to be here to talk to you about staying safe on holiday. Before I came this evening, I did a little research on where students like to go for their holidays and came up with two different regions, Latin America and India. So, um, I've been looking at the crime figures for both areas and I thought I'd start by talking a bit about that. Then I'll give you some advice about how to avoid becoming a victim of crime. OK, first of all, let's look at what kinds of crime are committed most in different regions. Um, OK, I'll start with India. Generally, India isn't thought of as a dangerous place for individuals, but there has been an increase in handbag theft in recent years. So keep an eye on your bag when you're out in the street. Right, now let's look at Latin America. Mm. Of course, you do realise that not all Latin American countries are the same, but it is true to say that guns are used in a high percentage of crimes across the region. Looking at the figures, it seems that gun crime is a serious problem throughout. Before you hear the next part of the talk, in the exam, you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 5 to 7. Listen and answer questions 5 to 7. I can see some of you are thinking that it all sounds rather dangerous, but I know lots of people who've been there and had a really great time. They followed advice from the authorities, like making sure they didn't wear expensive jewellery in the street. And I'd certainly advise anyone travelling to Latin America to do the same. Another thing you should be careful of is not to go to lonely places at night. But of course, that's the same anywhere. But I must say, you do have to be very careful in some parts of Latin America when you take your money out of a cash machine – Sometimes you find that thieves stand very close to people at cash machines and take their money as it comes out. Before you hear the rest of the talk, in the exam you will have 20 seconds to look at questions 8 to 10. 10. Listen and answer questions 8 to 10. OK, so now I'll finish by talking a little bit about India. I've actually been to India, and I didn't have any feeling that it was dangerous at all. First of all, I went on an organised tour with a group of people. This is definitely the best way to go because it's so much safer. I mean, I didn't go anywhere without the group, and we had a tour guide who spoke the local language and knew the area. In fact, I remember now... She warned us not to go off with strangers, even if they seem nice and friendly. But again, you wouldn't do that at home either, would you? That is the end of section two. In the exam, you will have half a minute to check your answers.